This is the ninth race. The ninth race. The ninth Pippa race. But what it shows is that London is the natural home of all great sporting events. You put on a pretty good Olympics last year. Were you in the Olympics as well? Two, two. two yeah, yeah. But you, okay. you, you, this is a very, very heavily bemedaled and uh, successful. But, but, but you're one of our greatest. You were the first guy to circumnavigate the, the globe. Non-stop. 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 And uh, what better tribute could there be to London's home, uh, to London as the home of all great aquatic sport, than that we should be launching this great Pippa event as well. Thank you very much also, Sir Robert, for what you do for young people and the inspiration that you give them uh, by getting them on board your ships and tying them up in reef knots and all the rest of the stuff that you do to give them discipline and boundaries and all the rest of it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I look forward to welcoming the, the boats. When are they coming back? They'll be going, going in back. September. They're yeah. going to do 44,000 miles. And then they're coming back in July next year. July next year. Well, if I'm still around, which I sincerely hope I will be, uh, we, will, we, will, well, we will give them a, a, a fitting London welcome on their return. And we won't be alone because about one billion people around the world, I think, are going to watch more than a billion people, one and a half billion people, are going to watch this event and thereby help to bring revenue to our city. So there's money in it as well. I can't promise to put oyster on these clippers, uh, <laughs> but uh, they nonetheless represent a fantastic investment for London. Thank you very, very much, everybody. And I have great pleasure, therefore. We're not launching the boat. No, we're not. We're not launching the boat. We're not, we're not starting the race. <laughs> but we're, we're, I, declare, I declare this fantastic round the world Clipper race officially launched. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I started my career at sea from this river, so uh, for me to come back and, and take a really major sailing event from my river, if you like, is an enormous pleasure. Because I, I want to see this river used more. I can remember when this river was absolutely packed with traffic. And it, it's, it's not deserted, but it's a lot emptier these days. But I'd like to see more activity on this river. I'd like to see more Londoners getting involved in it. I think if they're aware of what's going on, they'll be down there. I mean, after all, they're looking at people who are going off to take on one of the great adventures in life. More people have climbed Mount Everest than have sailed around the world now. So, you know, they're going, looking at people who are going off on their big adventure, mixture of excitement and apprehension, inevitably. And then, 11 months later, they'll see these people coming back, experienced, having done something with their lives, good sailors, but with that self-confidence that comes from going on out there, taking on nature in the raw. It certainly will. This will be our ninth race. Uh, we've got a new fleet coming. They're bigger boats. They take more people. So uh, it will be the biggest from a point of view of number of boats and the number of people participating. Well, I think it shows that London is, is a great place to hold a superb sporting event like this one. And I, I pay tribute to uh, Sir Robin Knox Johnston and others who are involved in setting it up. It, it, the good news is it brings loads and loads of, in, you know, of economic benefits to London. We think about £50 million pounds worth. But I think, as, as, as Robin was saying just now, it also puts the river on the map. It shows people how this city became great. It became great because the river was flowing through the heart of it. And um, there'll be millions of people who will be watching it. I think a lot of people turned out last time, and people. This is something that really, really grips people. This is the Everest of the seas. They're, these guys are going to go in these frail little uh, clippers. They're going to go through mountainous waves all the way around the earth. Uh, it's it's a fantastic accomplishment, and I think loads and loads of Londoners are going to turn out to welcome them back.